what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here it's been a long time since i've done an update on anything regarding the child's play franchise keeping up with our favorite killer doll chucky so i'm going to be talking about some tidbits that we got um answers to regarding the upcoming child's play tv series over the past couple of days and this recent watch party that went on on twitter with the original film don mancini had a watch party and he answered some questions he also sat down with sci-fi wire recently disclosing some details about the child's play tv series now me personally i've been i haven't really kept up to date with the chucky tv series anything regarding news with it that much uh outside of the fact that um i haven't really been too up to date on it and keeping up with it since i stopped writing for uh screen rant a lot of a lot of you might not have known this and if you're familiar with screen rant yes i used to write for screen rant uh I haven't really been keeping that much up with news regarding the Chucky TV series since then, but recently Don Mancini sat down with uh, Sci-Fi Wire to talk about some things. I wanted to go over the brief synopsis that we know for the TV series before I jump into that. As far as we know right now, um, the synopsis for the Ch Child's Play TV series are tentatively titled uh, Chucky at this point because of the remake that MGM did last year. They want to differentiate themselves from that. Uh, the synopsis reads as follows after a vintage Chucky doll turns up turns up at a suburban yard sale an idyllic American town is thrown into chaos uh, as a series of horrifying murders begin to expose the town's hypocrisies and secrets now I'm really excited to see Chucky in a setting like this again uh, or something very Stranger Things esque, where we're in a small town we have something causing havoc in the town um something that's really speaking of course to the 80s because i know for for a fact that the series will be following a group of young kids possibly uh, i believe my don mancini has has disclosed that the the, the tv show is going to be following a group of kids um 12 12 year old kids if i'm not mistaken or middle schoolers who are going to be dealing with this doll in their town um and then one thing I want to speak about was how during this sit down with Sci-Fi Wire, Mancini, Don Mancini, who we know is the creator of uh, Chucky, he recently disclosed some tidbits about Chucky possibly uh, interacting with the technology of the 21st century and how uh, we can have Chucky interacting with social media and how his his influence on social media could be something that's explored in this TV series. And I think that would be very interesting to see. I'm just going to get into what Don Mancini had to say regarding that. Uh, he said this. He said this following statement. One thing I can probably safely say is that it is that it's a look at what it means to be a kid today in the 21st century as distinct from what it was like to be a kid in the 1980s when we first showed up on the scene uh that's one thing i think people can look forward to and thinking about how does chucky operate in a world where kids spend so much of their time on social media for example playing video games interacting with one another on social media as opposed to in a park which is what we might have depicted 30 years ago I think the prospect of seeing Chucky sharpen his skills and add to his toolbox some of the technical goodies that we have at our disposal now, that's something I think people will find pretty interesting. So just speaking in regards to that, if we have Chucky ruining people's lives by, let's say he's exp he's leaking people's nudes or something, or he's leaking some type of sensitive information pertaining to them that they thought was hidden, but Chucky being the... the um, well versatile doll that he is because we we've seen him do do things that involve technology in the past but we're we're in a whole new level of a whole new era of technology and things being everything being a smart device uh i know in the child's play remake it essentially was technology coming back to bite us in the butt but in this tv series don mancini wants it to again be about a doll that's going to use it use it against us because in the in the remake that we got the doll itself was a new piece of technology this is going to be a vintage doll using something that's newer than him against us uh, i think that would be a very interesting thing to see for us to see the chucky doll ruining people's lives via facebook via twitter via social via any type of social media platform instagram twitter uh leaking people's news potentially i don't know how something like that would happen leaking text messages maybe even having a live stream of sorts and maybe this live stream he this live stream broadcast could be brought on from the fact of uh someone catching chucky on video because i know in in the past specifically the film i'm talking about is curse of chucky chucky makes mention of the fact that uh 
maybe it's not cursed but seed one of those two movies he makes mention of the fact that he knows he is a legend and he's a well recognized uh like he's basically a well recognized folklore at this point because not, not a lot of people know if the doll is alive or not he's basically an urban legend um an urban legend that also has several movies made after him if i'm not mistaken in seed of chucky there was a movie in production called chucky goes psycho i don't know if production actually got shut down on that movie if chucky ever actually got his full feature film but the character itself does have a huge following in that universe people are aware of its existence some people believe the stories that andy barkley has told some people don't believe the stories uh but with these constant killer doll rumblings going on and people constantly blaming chucky there's got to be a lot of online forums that talk about this that could be brought to light in this TV series. We're going to get to spend a lot more time possibly di going into more details regarding that. What is the extent of the discussion regarding Chucky and his influence in in the in the uh, in the population in this universe? Also, another thing Don Mancini talked about was us, of course, having some returning characters. Now, I personally would love to, of course, have Andy Barkley back once again, played by Alex Vincent, have uh have Christine Elise return to play uh, Kyle, Andy's uh, stepsister from Child's Play 2. I know a lot of people love Child's Play 2. I honestly think Child's Play 2 is right up there in the top three of the Chucky movies. Uh, also, what Don Mancini recently spoke about in this sit down with Sci-Fi Wire was adding more weapons to Chucky's arsenal. We've seen Chucky use a variety of different things. He's been he's used an axe before. Uh, he's used, of course, a knife. He's used uh, a a trash truck i'm gonna call it a a dumpster truck when he crushed somebody in child's play three uh he's he's used a variety of different things he's used um just a plethora of different items at his at his arsenal he's of course strangled people with with um with i'm just gonna call it rope he strangled people before because we know in life charles lee ray was the lakeshore strangler uh another thing i want to get into this is brought on to me by 3c films 3c films gonna give a shout out to him he's the one who uh put this idea in my head i kind of liked what he was talking about i wanted to go into my own thoughts on that this town that chucky is going to where he's going to be uh terrorizing these kids and every inhabitant in the town possibly who is a 12 year old kid or somebody who's in that demographic um who's to say that this town isn't chucky's hometown charles lee ray's hometown the town that he grew up in maybe he's going back to this town to of course seek out something that is something that's been bothering him for these past couple of years something that has been plaguing him something that he wants justice with um maybe we get a lot more details on who he was as a person as a kid if this is in fact his hometown uh I feel like that's what ultimately is going to be what what happens. I I, I really appreciate 3C Films, uh, kind of br kind of bringing that to light. Um, I don't know if he was the first one to address it, but that's kind of something I don't feel like anyone has really thought about. The town that we that we are going into for this Chucky TV series could be Charles Lee Ray's hometown, um, and we might get to learn a lot of other things about this character, to add more depth to the character of Chucky, maybe put some maybe put some understanding behind why he is the way that he is. Uh, which i see nothing wrong with that i see i see nothing wrong with with certain characters having a backstory and finding out why they tick the way that they do chucky is a character like that any any type of human character like that uh and somebody like 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 the character of charles e ray or a freddy krueger where their backstory was already embedded in the original film i don't see any issue with uh digging a little bit deeper into it uh a lot of people find an issue with digging into the into the history of michael myers because from the jump michael myers has always been always been a mystery and that's kind of been the shtick we don't we don't need to know what makes him tick uh but with characters like chucky and freddie where we've had tidbits about their their upbringing and their backstory since the very beginning i see no issue with diving into a little bit more to get a better understanding of why chucky is the way that he is um another thing don mancini actually confirmed is that we're gonna get 100 percent puppetry for the most part um the series will utilize pretty much 100 percent puppetry that's what he said um he thinks it's important to keep chucky as 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 a practical puppet puppet effect partly because it's important for the actors to have something to respond to on set all he also thinks it's important that chucky have a feel of a doll of a puppet he should be a little a little bit herky jerky um i'm really excited about that of course i expect them to use some type of cgi but the fact that we're gonna get 100 puppetry for the most part as he's claiming 
Uh, I'm really excited to see that. If I'm not mistaken, though, they've said this in the past, and it wasn't really 100% puppetry. It was a lot more CGI than what we were led to believe it was going to be. But we'll see what happens with the Chucky TV series. I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited to see what happens with Chucky, where we take this character and how we can make him relevant in uh the 21st century on on the small screen um and how everything will play out with this tv series who who exactly our, our characters are going to be because i think right now the only cast members that everyone is going to be aware of of course will be brad dorf returning to play chucky uh jennifer tilly of course uh N nina the character of nina who i believe is played by brad dorf's daughter i can't i can't think of her name at the moment um or nika her name's nika but i can't think of the actress's name at the moment but she's brad dorf's daughter she'll be returning she was chucky's most recent victim uh i'm really excited to see what all goes down here let me know what you guys think about the child's play tv series down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video also down in the comment section i'm gonna have a comment that is gonna be specifically for me giving out a free digital code to a movie knives out the people who reply to that comment the first 10 people who reply to it they're gonna be entered into a contest and i'm gonna pick a name at random and i'm going to pick you and i'll announce you in the next video that i do and you'll just have to uh we'll set up something of course for me to get in contact with you for me to give you the digital code to knives out if you're a fan of that movie uh, but with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.